Here's an example of an order of operations problem involving integers that you might find as you work through some of our activities in Chapter 2. So I'm looking at this first problem which says 2 to the 4th plus the quantity of 7 minus 3 squared plus 6 times 8. Well, I really want to keep in mind PEMDAS as I move through this. And I do prefer to write it this way so that I remember multiplication and division are buddies or happen on the same level or move in order from left to right. So are addition and subtraction. So before I even start, I notice I do have exponents, which really tells me that in a minute I might want to expand this. Before I go there, let's remember our parentheses. So 7 minus 3 I really could do, or you could change it to add the opposite. And we could simplify this step. What is 7 plus a negative 3? The answer is 4, and it's positive, right? I have to keep these parentheses on there for a minute because I notice this exponent, or at least it might be smart to do that. And I'm going to bring everything else down. Hmm. Next, my parentheses have really been taken care of. I guess maybe I didn't need them there. There's nothing preceding the parentheses, so this might have been enough just to show with 4 to the second power. But what should I try next? I should probably look at exponents, right? So here in my exponents, I notice 2 to the 4th. This is where I think it might be wise to write this out and show its meaning. This is called expanded form. And could I show you what 4 to the second power means? Yep, that means the base 4 is used twice in multiplication. Plus 6 times 8. Well, really, I kind of took care of exponents. I turned them into more of a multiplication, right? Or I could go ahead and go back in and kind of simplify these pieces. So what does it mean to have 2 times 2? Well, that's 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. And here 4 times 4 is another 16. And I'll bring down my addition that's happening there, and don't forget about the back here, 6 times 8. Hmm, if I think of PEMDAS, I still have some multiplication and division to deal with moving from left to right. I took care of those exponents, but at the back here, 6 times 8, that's some multiplication I can do in my head. 6 times 8 is 48. I need to bring down everything else that's happening because, again, I really want to show one step at a time. It helps with my communication in math. And I only have addition left, so it says I can move in order from left to right. Well, 16 plus 16, that's 32. And I'll bring down the plus 48. 32 plus 48. Well, 32 plus 40 would get me 72. Plus 8 more? Sounds like it would get me 80. Looks like my answer is 80. If things are going well, you're going to find your answer on another card. So that's going to help you travel to the next stop during our class activity. Again, this is called order of operations or integer operations, which happens in Lesson 2.4 of our 7th grade textbook. And it's really important to me that when you're done, you end up with what? Pizza, or maybe an inverted triangle. We really want this organization to be line by line. Don't do too much in your head here because we want people to be able to follow your line-by-line -line organization and your communication.